Well, good afternoon, everybody. We're gonna weld a chain hook onto my uh, five-foot bucket. The uh, tooth buckets, they have, uh, they've already got some lifting loops built onto them. The uh, five-foot bucket doesn't. And there are still times with a five-foot bucket, I need to grab something with a chain. So uh, we are going to weld a uh, chain hook onto the bucket. So we've got these uh, probably made in China chain hooks or three eighths. Uh, actually, look fairly decent quality. We'll know more about it when we start welding on it to see. Uh, how well they weld, but uh, we'll get things marked out here and then we'll set the bucket on the pallet and see if the little uh, V2601 can pick this bucket up. All right then, we're gonna try and find our center here. Let's see what's, uh, wow, look at that, easy numbers. How are we on the inside? Not as easy a number. So we are 14 inches between ears. About six and a quarter. Okay, so that's got our center line. I gotta kinda judge my positioning here on my uh, four foot bucket on the uh, 40. I put it too far up like this and it wasn't too bad with the old fabricated work brow coupler, but when I bought a new machine and we had this cast unit, this big deal here, drop down over the hook more and it's just a real pain to get the uh, the hook in and out so I'm thinking I want it up a little bit more than that move it on up in there a little more a little flatter place to weld too oops and then my tape measure straight Oh, we'll square that up better when we start start going. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, it's got it to where it should be uh, fairly accessible. So now I'm gonna mark the area I want the paint taken off of. We'll take the paint off there. That way we've got a good welding surface. As porous as the metal is, I usually use a flap wheel. I uh, still gonna have a little paint in there which will uh, cause a little impurity, but uh, shouldn't be too bad. So we'll get the bucket unpinned here, put it on the pallet and see if the little uh, 2601 will pick it up. All right. Feels good to sit in the, I say old girl, but uh, the new girl. It's been, uh, God, I think it's been three weeks since I've uh, done anything with it. And pretty sure we'll be able to use it this week. So it has just been so rainy and so wet. All the jobs I have to do with it are, uh, wet. A little bit bigger pin than the 40. Over here on the track.
Get it just a little more centered on my palette. And we're free. So I've uh, found center, and I've marked out where I need to uh, uh, take the paint off. So we're going to take my flap wheel here and get it down to uh, metal so I've got a good welding surface. And then we will weld that on there. So we'll get to it here. I don't know how well uh, the mic picks up through my respirator, but I always wear a respirator for this. I probably sound like Darth Vader. <laughs> this paint they use, I don't know what it is, but it's like uh, trying to take rubber off. You see how it smooths around? There we go. Got it all nice and shiny now. So, I will get me a uh, magnet. To hold the hook in place, get the tape measure back out, get it centered up, and we'll zap her on there. Yeah, bring it inside. There's just enough little wind gusts that that's uh, just not going to work for the welder. say this is uh, plenty heavy for the little 20, 2601. It, uh, I mean it's doing it fine but I can definitely feel the weight. Get that well, out. That was my uh, first pass. Can't really see in there. But uh, normally on the 40 I just do a single pass like that. Well a little more over the top. With this on the 80, I think I'm going to do a double pass on it.
Okay, we'll grab it here. There's my pin I was looking for. Still on the bucket. Run it outside here and we'll get us some good old Kubota black. Yep, oh, there goes my pin. Yeah, we got it uh, welded up there. Got a couple passes on it. For everything I would uh, be pulling on, that should be plenty. This is the uh, paint I use. Uh, buy it from my Kubota dealer. Central Equipment, Medford, Oregon. There, shameless plug. Yeah, shut my door real quick so that, uh, set this back further so that I don't uh, get paint on my camera. <coughs> that stinks. <coughs> Plus the wind's blowing it right back in my face. Thing nice about uh, painting it right after you welded it, it dries pretty much instantly. Pretty thick coat on it. Oh man, right on the camera. Yeah, get this set back in place. Get a pin back on. Well, I hob hobble around a little bit. I got a bad leg and I took a pretty good fall the other day, so that is the reason for the hobbling. I don't think that's too bad up in there. Okay. Now, we are going to uh, put my name on it. Got some decals. So, we've got a hook.
now it's my 80. Put one more on the side and then we're done. Somebody really wants to talk to you. Popular. You're popular. There we go. You like it? Mm -hmm. yeah. I like it. Good. All right. Well, everybody, we have our name on the 80, and uh, she helped. <laughs> <laughs> so, everyone, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful uh, Easter, and we will catch you on the next one. We actually get to play with this thing on Tuesday. Yay. Please subscribe, hit that like button, and see you next week. <laughs>